Hello, my name is Rich Mogul. I'm a cloud security practitioner and the principal course designer of the CCSK. I want to take a few minutes to talk about version 5, its benefits to you and your organization, as well as what the training covers. The Certificate of Cloud Computing Security Knowledge is industry-leading training we first released back in 2011. It's considered the standard for baseline cloud security expertise, and we've continued to evolve the training since it was first released to reflect the latest cloud security best practices. Version 5 is our biggest update yet, and we rebuilt the material from the ground up to make sure it reflects how cloud security is practiced in the real world. We designed CCSK version 5 for security practitioners, operations, development administrators, auditors, and other IT professionals working directly with cloud. You don't need any official experience to get a lot out of the training. And although the course focuses on security, it's also extremely valuable in helping other roles better integrate security into their day-to-day -day jobs. Version 5 is also an important update for previous holders of the CCSK. Cloud's advanced an incredible amount over time. And the updates in version 5 will ensure you understand the latest best practices as well as entirely new domains of technology. For individuals, there are a lot of benefits to holding the CCSK. We design it to help advance your career and serve as a foundation for other certificates. After successfully completing the training and exam, you'll receive a digital badge and an official certificate from the Cloud Security Alliance. Many organizations have also standardized on the CCSK and neither require the certificate or even provide the training to their teams. It ensures everyone has the required knowledge to keep your cloud infrastructure secure and is working with a shared vocabulary and shared approach to cloud security. There are a lot of major updates to version 5. As I mentioned, we tore the CCSK apart and rebuilt everything from the ground up with the latest cloud security research and practices. Version 5 introduces modern cloud components and technologies and state-of-the-art best practices to protect them. It was built by practitioners and went through extensive focused and public review. We're also making extensive use of AI to help keep the CCSK up to date on a more consistent basis. This allows us to introduce changes much more quickly and stay aligned with the rapid evolution of cloud. We've added new capabilities as well, like a CSA chatbot to help support your studies. In terms of coverage, the CCSK is broad but completely focused on cloud security. We've broken the content up into 12 domains of knowledge, and these are directly aligned with the CSA's latest cloud security guidance. We started with a cloud computing concepts and architectures overview to give everybody that shared vocabulary and understanding of what cloud is and where cloud security fits in. We then move on to cloud governance for consistent and effective management of cloud security through your organization. Risk audit and compliance is the next domain, and that's to align security using a risk-based approach that also accounts for many compliance requirements. Then we get more into the technology, and we start with organization management, which covers how you define and organize your overall cloud footprint and what security controls to apply at that level. The most important domain then is identity and access management, because most cloud security problems, native cloud security problems, are IAM problems. Security monitoring is then covered to ensure we have visibility and can detect and respond to threats at the speed of cloud. We then move on to a stack of domains that covers technologies that are going to be a little bit different depending on your different application stacks, although they will also have some shared components. This includes infrastructure, networking, workload, data, and application security. Every one of those has cloud implications, um, but again, as they mentioned they tend to vary a lot to meet the needs of your different business requirements. And even if you get all of that right, things are still going to go wrong sometimes. We can't stop all the adversaries. So that's why we cover incident response as well as resilience. And then we finish the training up with a discussion of related technologies and strategies, uh, threat and vulnerability management, artificial intelligence, and zero trust being three of the primary ones. Like we have really advanced the CCSK a lot with version 5. We hope you check it out, and we look forward to seeing you in training.